Hi and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the Line Icon Toucan tutorial in Inkscape. A great tutorial for beginners. Let's get, let's get straight into it. We have the colors on the right hand side and we also have this nice gradient background. Um, full HD 1920 by 1080 in dimension. So, the first thing you want to do, you know, create a rectangle. And this tutorial is really just going to be about rectangles and boolean modes. Let's make this white just for the time being. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a line here with the Bezier tool. So you can get the Bezier tool by just um, pressing this here, right? Or you can use Shift F6. And for the rectangle, I'm going to just create this rectangle here. My rectangle has its corners rounded already, but by default it will look like this. To make the corners rounded, you just simply have to double click and then that will reveal three nodes. Two square nodes and one circle node, which is actually two, but because they're behind each other you don't see the two. So two square nodes and two circle nodes. And if you um, left click and you hold control and drag, this will make the, the edges of or the four ver vertices of the box become rounded, you know, um, and they'll be rounded proportionately. If you don't hold control, then they won't be rounded proportionally and you'll get one side rounded and the other side not rounded. So yeah. So I want mine perfectly rounded. And let's kind of stretch it out a bit. Let's fin it and stretch it out a bit more. Okay, this looks good. Good, so now that we've done this, let's go ahead and just press B or go to the Bezier tool with Shift F6. We're going to click, hold Control and drag across. All right. Uh, once we do that, let's just move these up to the top of it. Let's zoom in with the middle mouse button. We're going to cut cut this rectangle behind us, this rounded rectangle in half. We're going to divide it with this bezier line that we've just made. Um, I've eyeballed it to see if it's in the center, but if you want it perfectly in the center, we can go to Object, Align and Distribute, and make sure last is selected or first selected. But whatever one you, you pick up here, make sure you check which one you selected first and last. And it's going to move it in the center. And then we're going to go ahead, select both of these with shift. And we're going to go to object, path, sorry, and difference. No, division. So we're going to go to path and division. Good. So next part, it's going to double click it to reveal the nodes. Or you can go to the node tool up here or press F2. And we're going to select these two nodes right here. We're going to bring it back a bit. And we see that we've gotten the beak of our toucan. Let's bring this back. Yep. So it's a simple box select, you just use your left mouse button and drag, you know, while you're in node mode. So now that we have that, we can sort of move on to the next part of this. Good. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this back a little bit more. So a little bit more about this and we're going to just hold control and just scale this up using the top left directional arrow good and I think that's about right good next I'm gonna press B for the Bezier tool or you can go to the Bezier tool here with shift F6 I'm gonna create another Bezier line but we're gonna create it vertically this time and it's going to make it such that it crosses the bottom beak entirely good then I'm gonna select it with the bottom beak and we're gonna go path and division excellent so we're just going to remove this part here and delete it then we're going to drag these two parts and bring it bring it back in fact let's not delete this let's keep this sorry let's keep this just for the time being move it to the side and we're just going to drag these back here awesome good and let's drag this back too Great, so we can just put this back here so that we have the back of the head. 
and let's just bring these closer together like so okay cool so let's go ahead and add some of the colors that we saw to it let's add the orange and at the top let's make this orange as well and this let's make it yellow i'm going to duplicate it with Control and d then i'm going to flip it on the it says flip it on the vertical but i say flip it on the horizontal axis all right then i'm going to bring this up okay i noticed that they're different sizes which is okay what i'll do instead is that i'll just go ahead and draw a line with b bezier tool i'm going to duplicate this and lift it up good and we're just going to divide it again so we're going to go path and division and let's delete this part and create this part and make this part yellow so we have the yellow part the top and the bottom beak let's go ahead and use a rectangle tool again and this time we're going to create the belly of the bird and we're going to put the belly uh, roughly here try to make the belly about the same size as the lower beak good maybe even a bit smaller it's up to you and we want it perfectly rounded let's go ahead and put it underneath and let's give it our color we want this to be blue and we're going to duplicate it lift it up slightly and we're going to give it a yellow the duplicate and we want this to be the top part of the bellies of the bird's arm belly so it's going to lift this up a bit good let's lift it up slightly i'm going to duplicate the belly select the top part and we're going to go path and intersection great okay i think we're moving just fine here next i'm going to create a rectangle another one and that's gonna make make for the legs let's go ahead and lift this up a bit awesome good then I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this and I'm going to rotate it and it's going to help us make the basis for the wings good so it's going to go ahead double click and bring these up a bit awesome now we, do that. we want the wings to have a little bit more character than this so what we're going to do we're going to create a, another rectangle but before we create that rectangle we're just going to go ahead and turn on the snap tool here or you hit shift and the percentage sign and we're just going to go ahead and make sure that snap node pass and handles and that cost nodes are are indeed active good and I'm going to draw this rectangle to fit the same space as or the same horizontal space and we're just going to drag this down here this node down here and I'm going to turn this to be a orange and that will make this part top part round let's go ahead and just hold the square node and pull down to make this a bit longer and then we can use path and union good and that will make the basis for our first wing good let's just go ahead and bring this up a bit it's a bit too low maybe a bit too low or high good second up the beak looks a bit long let's go ahead and bring this down a bit and let's make go ahead and let's pull this in and let's pull this up tad okay i may just have to set cut this myself but that's okay okay so we're just gonna go ahead and make one more change to this wing and just want to pull it in delete some of these nodes here so just use box select delete them so let these two nodes make it straight pull this up and stretch it in a bit awesome yeah 
I much prefer the wings like this. Don't want them to be completely straight. Okay then, so we've done the wings. Let's lift these up. Alright, let me just draw a bezier line with B. And we're just going to cut this here with difference, path and division, sorry. Let's delete that top. Good. And let's color this this feather right here. Or this this wing, sorry. So then uh, we're just going to go ahead and click it with the select tool left click and click on left click once more and we'll see the rotational handles as well as the pivotal point so we're going to get this cross here this is the pivot point and we're going to drag it to the top then we're going to duplicate it and pull it across good and we're going to duplicate it once more and bring it across and we're going to color the middle one a lighter blue and lift it up in the hierarchy In the visual hierarchy here and that makes our wings and for the next part I'm just going to go ahead and select these three wings duplicate them let's group them with control and G and just put these underneath using the hierarchy visual hierarchy tools I'm just going to flip them so we're flipping them on the horizontal axis or hip, flipping them on the horizontal but I say flipping them on the vertical and yeah that gives us our wings here and we can go ahead and pull these back gives us our wings here good so the form of our toucan is basically made let's go ahead and select a circle tool or the ellipse tool good and we're going to duplicate it scale it in with control shift and pulling the directional buttons just give it a different color so we can see so we're just scaling it in here and scaling in a bit more and then we're going to select these two circles and go path and difference then we're going to create another bezier line holding control and dragging it down horizontally we're going to cut this circle in half path with division Good. And then let's just scale it up, scale it in a bit because it's a bit big. A little bit more. And just gonna go ahead and duplicate this. Let's take off snap and put it here. Okay, and so for the most part, the toucan is complete. You know, so all we need to do here now, just add the perch that it is standing on. With another rectangle and we round the edges of that rectangle. Good. And now it's only a matter of adding the stroke and some detail. And let's make this brown. Let's make the talons yellow. Good and let's add a bit more to this now so i'm just going to highlight everything here and i'm going to press d for the dropper tool and we're going to select this dark blue down here and that dark blue will give us if we hold shift and click it it will fill the stroke for us good i'm going to increase the stroke increase it to about two is too good let's try 2.7 good that looks about right yeah, I think 2.7 looks good all right let's duplicate these because we don't want the stroke to reach this this far we'll path and union to, to unify both of these good and then we're just going to go ahead double click to go into no mode and sort of just get rid of these nodes here i'm going to break this line so that there's no line here let's go ahead and just delete line segment between the two end nodes yeah that looks pretty good 
and let's stretch this across awesome and then for this now we're going to select these two nodes and we're just going to say insert nodes in selected segments so we want a new node in the middle and then we're going to break from here to here so let's select these two nodes and break the line segment good and we're going to do the same here we're going to select these two nodes and break the line segment good that way we can sort of just bring this line segment wherever we want it okay the talons look a little bit thin let's go ahead and give them a, a lighter stroke say two all right cool so we're almost finished with this tutorial i think the only things that we have left to do here now You have the belly and the wings and everything. I think the wings could have been a bit longer, but you know that's a simple fix. You know, but that's okay. All we need to do is add the pattern on the beak and the beak itself. So let's go ahead and create, select the ellipse tool, and select this blue. And then we're just going to add two rectangles for the beak select these two let's path and unify them and then with the beak duplicated let's select these two and go to path and sorry let's go to path and intersection make these yellow and let's just squeeze them in a bit and last but not least the beak which is going to use an ellipse tool let's make it blue and let's put it just here duplicate the beak once more and go to path and intersection yeah squeeze this in a bit and squeeze this out and that pretty much sums our two carton line icon tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you have any questions be sure to ask them in the comment box i don't presume to know all things you know and i appreciate the constructive points and also the questions that helps everybody in the community it helps me when i was learning this you know comments helped a lot so i know that comments you know um for my videos will help my viewers a lot as well so you know just go ahead and leave those comments you know let me know what you think if it's something that you want to see more of this type of style of illustration you can also let me know you know this that feedback helps too and i do my best to you know, respond to it once this once once i can okay then so until i see you again with another inkscape tutorial get up and design a new door Later.